Today we are opening a 2005 Xerion Universe 10. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we have several items that were bought on Ruxin34.com by Tomato Juice, an ultimate member of the channel, and he also said, I want you to open these up for me and you can keep the content. So he bought them simply for content. An absolute legend. I can't wait to open this stuff up and see what I get. I get stuff from my own website. It's really cool. We do have a quick giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know how much of a legend Tomato Juice is in the comments, and let's get into it. Let me show you what he bought. So he bought the Xerion Universe 10 that you saw. He bought a first edition LOD blister, which is pretty cool. 10 Ghosts from the Past, and finally 10 Stardust Overdrive. So all of this will be open in today's video. We are gonna start off with these loose 20 packs. Let's see what we can pull from these. We will start with a Ghost from the Past. Speaking of Ghost from the Past, if you have not seen, Ghost from the Past 2 is coming out and it is gonna be twice as easy to pull Ghost Rares, which should be pretty fun. So we're gonna be able to pull those Ghost Rares fairly easily. Arc Brave Dragon, by easily, I mean half as easily as last time. It was pretty tough last time. I am extremely excited about that. I suspect Dark Magician Girl could be in that set, which you guys know would be huge. We have a Synchro Barrier. Let's see what we can pull. Gemini Booster. Insect Neglect. Ooh, and a Reptilian Hydra. This is actually a good one, I think. We pulled this a lot. I think it's like a $10 card, unless it's been reprinted recently, which I don't think it has. Very good start. Then we have a Dijin, the Presider of Rituals, and we got the white card at the end. Okay. What will we pull from that first edition LOD blister? That's going to be interesting. We got first edition cards. We got a Medolce Fresh to start. The Gear Town. Wolf Flame. Hieratic Seal. And the Tribute Lanius. Very nice. Okay. Continuing on. So far, we've pulled one pretty good card. We have a lot of packs to go. So once again, shout out to Tomato Juice. Absolute legend. Thanks again for doing this. Knight of the Red Lotus. The Gemini card. A pretty cool card. Knight of the Red Lotus. This was a pretty decent in Duel Links. We have a Zero Gardener. We've got Swap Frog and the Reptilian Gorgon. Very nice. Let's go into a Ghost from the Past. All right. Hopefully that Xerion Universe promo is nice too. That would be cool. Salvage. Time Thief. Time Thief Retrograde. And the Time Thief Adjuster. A lot of Time Thieves there. Very nice. And speaking of Ruxin34.com, you can buy stuff for yourself as well. Or, if, I mean, obviously you could do this and let me open it for you. I don't expect you to give me the cards like Tomato Juice. He was just being clutch. But uh, I can always open it for you. There, Very nice. Gateway of the Six. That's a pretty decent card. Okay. But yeah, check out, check that out. We have a box break on there for Pharaonic Guardian. We are still selling that out. That will be our next one. And then we have a very cool one that will come after that. But first, we have to finish that one out. So go check it out on Ruxin34.com. Gemini Counter. Very awesome. Okay, goes from the past. Let's continue on. And we do have some more tins. I, I have the Xerion Universe tin. I think I have a, a couple of Vorse Raiders. I can't remember exactly which ones there. are. Cypher Blade, okay. And a Necroz of Arid Bear, okay. On to the Stardust Overdrive. Ground Spider, Savage Coliseum. Will we pull the Ghost Shirt? Imagine. <laughs> he buys it for us and we pull the Ghost Shirt. That would feel kind of bad. <laughs> You're like, no. <laughs> It would be exciting, though. i take it. Or we pull a Ghost Rider out of these Ghosts from the past. That's possible as well. Taco Crusader. We got the Buster Dragon. Mist Valley by it. Mist Valley Baby Rock. <laughs> Struggle was there. And Thessalus the Mega Monarch. So far, what have we got? We've got a few supers. That's what we're looking at right now. Nothing too insane. Wolf in sheep's clothing. Reptilian Medusa. We've got the Achelion. The Metabo Shark. We've got Finding Nemo once again. Very nice. I love the Finding Nemo card. We have Fortune Lady Wind, Relinquish Spider, and Spider Egg. Alrighty, Ghost Rare coming right now. Here we go, Dryas, Xyz Burst, Update Jammer. Yo's on root! And the Dragoonie Armor, Armorgram. Is it Armorgram? Armorgram, Armorgram. I will get that right eventually. We got the Herculean Power, get Solitaire Magician, Regulus, Wolf in Sheep's Clothing, Gemini Scorpion, okay, Spiritual Forest. And we've got uh, the extra white there. Still searching for something crazy. What can we pull? Ghost of the Past doesn't have a lot. It does have evenly matched, but that's about it. There's not a lot besides the Ghost Rares, which is why we're hoping Ghost from the Past 2 is a little different. You know, there's actually some decent cards besides the Ghost Rares. And that will help the overall value of the set. It's still going to be crazy either way with the Ghost Rares, because obviously it's fun to pull a Ghost Rare. We got a Bending Destiny. We got an Energy Bravery. Ooh, Yellow Baboon, Archer of the Forest. We got an Ultimate Rare. This is an interesting one. The Yellow Baboon. One of the early Duel Links cards as well. That's funny. Then we got the Presider of Rituals. We the Slip Summon, Dark Spider, and Level Eater. Okay, okay. Let's go. Metaphors, Ori Calc. Oh, Fog Blade. Very good. Gigantus. 
Gear Town. Hell Shed All Hollow. Stardust Overdrive. We got a few packs left till we get into that blister pack and that tin opening. That's going to be fun. Insect Neglect. Bending Destiny. Ooh, an ultra rare Divine Grace. North Wemco. I do love this card. Thanks again, Tomato Juice. All these cards are very cool. I appreciate it. We've got the, the Releaser of Rituals. I will get that eventually. Gemini Counter. Can we pull a Ghost Rare? Um, I just ripped that pack. We have the Mine Mole. Emergency Teleport. This is actually several dollars. Might even be 10 now. With the Time Thief, Sunsheed, and the Mega Monarch again. Three more packs here. Two Stardust Overdrive, one Ghost from the Past. So far, we've gotten like one. No, we've gotten a few. We've gotten a few pulls, like three pulls out of here. Reptilian and Viper. Zero Gardener. Relinquished Spider. I wish it was real Relinquished. That'd be nice. Swap Frog is pretty good. Ghost from the Paws. Let's go. Sunvine Gardener. Evolve All Dragon. Hieratic Seal. Seattle. Dragoonity Armagram. We got it finally. The name. Final pack here until we get into the Tin and the Blister pack. We have Roar of the Earthbound, Solitaire Magician, Wolf in Sheep's Clothing, Reptilian Viper, and Reptilian Poison. Okay, we pulled one Ultimate Rare. That's not too bad. Let's go into this tin first, and then we will do the Blister. I think that's the correct order, because that's first edition. Here we go. Let's open this bad boy up. All right. What will be inside? Let's check the promo. How will the promo be? I haven't opened a 2005 tin since every 2005 opening, I think, so... It's been a little bit. We have the Exerion Universe. Very nice. The back looks pretty good. Overall, pretty good condition. Do you play this in GOAT format or do you not? That is the question. It is debated amongst GOAT format enthusiasts. Inside, we have a few packs. Oh, yeah. These are the interesting packs. They have like Dark Beginning 1, Dark Revelation. Those are fun. And then the Soul of the Duelist, Rise of Destiny, and Flaming Eternity. I like those as well. Here we go. Let's start off with the Flaming Eternity. I do really like Flaming Eternity. There's a lot of cool rare ulties in here that we could pull, so... I'm down for the Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, something like that. That could be cool. We have the Abare Ushioni. We got the Elemental Burst, Element Valkyrie, Beast Soul Swamp, Swap, I should say, Four Seas Fire, and Divine Dragon Ragnarok. Very cool. Okay, let's go into Rise of Destiny. Can we pull the ulti to Koichi? Let's do this. We have the Zing Zinhu. Actually, a pretty good card. Harpy's Hunting Ground, Harpy Girl. Homunculus, the alchemic being. Here we go. Will this be it? Tragedy. What a tragedy. We did not get anything good. We got a super rare tragedy. So it's a super rare, so we can't complain. But feels like this is always the card you pull out of Rise of Destiny. On to the next one. Soul of the Duelist. Can we pull an ulti Horus level 4? I would take that. That would be pretty cool. Dark Mimic level 1. Mind Crush. Mind Wipe. Red Eyes be Chick. And Horus level, Horus level 8 would be nice. Penumbral Soldier Lady, the legendary super rare soldier lady. All right. <laughs> Pretty funny, but we did get the soldier lady. Okay. Enrage Mooka Mooka, Dark Factory, Horse of We did get a horse. We got a horse of servant. Now we have the Dark Revelation. Let us pull something epic. I don't remember. I think this is the one that'll just pop up. It might be right here, honestly. All right, Koitsu. So it's not here. Guardian. Guardian Bow. Luster Dragon. Neko Main King, not a bad card. DD Trainer. Magical Merchant, that's another good one. Ooh, a Skill Drain Rare. Okay, that's actually worth quite a bit. Adhesion Trap Hole, we got the Arsenal Robber. Hilo Hieroglyph, or Lithograph, that's tough to say. The That is the uh, Spellbook Organization is the new name. Oh, a Wave Motion Cannon. Okay, wow, talk about an epic pack. That was really good. Finally, we have Dark Beginning 1. Then we will go on to that first edition Legacy of Darkness Blister, which means we could pull... The first edition Injection Fairy Lily Seeker Rare. That'd be crazy. This one has some pretty epic cards in here as well. Shining Angel. Nuvia the Wicked. Sonic Bird. Banisher of the Light. Will this be it right here? Melkid? No, it's not that. Amazon? Where is the where's the foiler rare? Ah, tribute to the doomed. Okay, gift the mystical elf. I have truth. Minor Goblin Official Insect Barrier. Yeah, there's a lot of cards in here. That's right. And the final pack that we have. We have a Legacy of Darkness. First edition blister. What can we pull? Let's see. This is going to hurt, guys. Turn away if you like sealed product. Because that, yeah, that hurt. Yep, that hurt. Just ruined it. <laughs> First edition Legacy of Darkness. First edition Legacy of Darkness. We could pull the Injection Fairy Lily. First edition Seeker Rare. 
Let's get into this. All right, we gotta be careful. Yep, don't want to don't want to damage anything. Because these are from 2003 first edition cards. We have a Dragon's Rage, Ryu Kishin Clown. Shout out to the Tomato Juice for this epic video. Heart of Clear Water, Ominous Fortune Telling. Here we go. Ooh, the warrior returning alive. Fiend Comedian, Wolf Axe Weeder, The Secret of the Band, and the Hunter of Seven Weapons. No foil. That's okay. That was so much fun to open. Once again, thanks again to Tomato Juice for that epic video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for more epic content. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Toe and Fosho, Tomato Juice, Cody J6490, Stanley, Mike Nance, and Mimic Gecko. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel, and I will see you guys later. Peace.